Okay, so we have ourselves in a, a little bit of a position here. We can't use the bonfire, but we have a bunch of things we need to go and do. And the first thing I'm going to go do personally is um, go speak to... Hmm. Big Hat Logan hasn't switched his spots yet, so we need souls for something else. Hey, there's a chest down here. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> Grab that demon titan out on the way out. Um, I want to go fight the Moonlight Butterfly and go for Sif next. So let's go play around in the forest. And um, maybe we can finally get some armor on? <laughs> I, uh, at this point, I'm uh, feeling a little naked still. We're a little naked still. And uh, we're squishy, so we take a lot of damage. So we may upgrade our stuff, get some armor on. Um, the DLC is not too far away in particular, so I'm just going to start planning some more of my character out a little bit. Get some armor on that I might want to use and such. So we're getting somewhere. We're back here in Sense Fortress because my bonfire was... Um, it was out. And we need to go speak to the Firekeeper in Firelink Shrine and give our two Firekeeper souls to them. I'm gonna try to do this in some sort of straight order, but it's a little bit of a mess uh, here and there. The game is a bit scattered, but we have plenty of things to go and do. So my first plan, I'm gonna go back here Give the Firekeeper souls, and let's level up a bit and see if we can finally fast roll with another piece of armor on. The armor I'm planning on using, I will more than likely have to save... Um, oh, what is his name? I'll have to remember his damn name. Patches. I'll have to save Patches because I want to get the Mask of the Child, which will be my final headpiece headgear piece but for now let me see if I can put on that I cannot yet so let's get a bunch of stamina and I'm gonna get probably yeah probably one more intelligence level because I do want to start building up for another magic spell that I want but I will need some more attunement Planning, planning, planning. We have 14k souls right now. And I'm still mid-rolling. Still mid-rolling, huh? So we're still a little heavy. Let me see if I can get one more level out of some of these souls here. Do a little soul popping for a bit and do a bunch of leveling. Which is pretty much supposed to plan from the beginning. I just, for I just forgot how much uh, endurance I need for the build that I want. I eventually need to go down and get the Elite Knight armor set. I think my casual build that I usually go for ends up being right around 44, 45 endurance. I can't quite remember at the moment. It has been a good while since I've done this. And we're level 56, so we're not really particularly over leveled or anything. I have not really been grinding, just been playing the game. Doing the natural progression, knowing where some of the items are. Popping one instead of six. Uh, let, me, let me go try that again. <laughs> so we're leveling up here. We're getting some levels. And then we're going to go on and stick to the master plan. And hopefully this will be enough for probably everything that I need for a good little while. After Anna Orlando is when your character really starts getting the roots of what the character is going to be. And I'm not really going for a particular build or anything, but there are some things that I want. Take one back off of that. I want to get this to 30, but I'm going to go on ahead and put that into intelligence. So by the end of this, I want at least, uh, I think, crystal homing soul mass or one of those. Uh, Probably at least 30 dex, at least 20 vitality, and 40 endurance. It's a pretty alright character, at least for a playthrough. We'll see, though. We will see. Right now, 
I can fast roll finally. So I do have some armor on. Let me switch out to some lighter, a uh, little bit lighter gloves if I can. Can I wear a small helmet? Wear the sorcerer's hat? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I'm too fat. Can I take the gloves off and wear that? That looks kind of badass. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> All right, let's go. We need to go towards um, the forest. So we'll just warp. Okay, scratch the warp. We're going to go to... Um, we're going to do Bed of Chaos first. We're gonna do this entire down like area down here first. And the reason why, well, first of all, my master plan was ruined by myself. <laughs> I forgot we need 20K souls for uh, the crest of Artorias. I do believe that is 20K souls. And I don't have that at the moment because I just used it all on my character. So this is not really a setback. This is fine. Uh, my plan for the playthrough here was I was gonna go for the bed of chaos first because well, first of all, I hate that one the most. Second of all, um, I kind of just want to get it out of the way. I have a bit of a method that I use for Bed of Chaos that's not really foolproof, but it does help. It, it speeds the fight up a bit. Um, it's just your typical quit out method. But I hate this fight with a passion. I'm not <laughs> fond of it at all. But it's it's okay. It's okay. I jumped on accident instead of rolling. That was a big, could have been a big bad mistake considering that guy could have absolutely bitch slapped the crap out of me. So we're going to make our way back down and go towards Ceaseless Discharge. That'll be the next boss fight we do because we've already done this area. I did not rest at the bonfire that was down there. So that's why I'm not warping. I don't have a warp. Blight Town's bonfire up here does not have a warp either. So we're kind of roughing it for just a few minutes here until I make my way back to where I'm wanting to go. We should be all right, though. And getting poisoned is no big deal. We're just making our way through. So we'll go for Ceaseless Discharge. So I don't know if I'll do the super cheap method for Ceaseless because, well, first of all, uh, I kind of work sometimes and then sometimes I've had it to not work. That and I kind of want to fight the boss legitimate if I can. First of all, let me heal. Um, I want to swap shields. Get something with more fire resistance on. Uh, as you can see, the fire resistance on this one is 85, and the one I was using before was 70. Better stability, though. So it does have a bit of a trade-off, better magic as well. But this is fire and uh, physical attack, so I'd rather just go on ahead and protect against what we're going against instead of um, guesstimating as much as possible. Okay, so now that you're up here, we can make our way back down here. Or we can just go down here for the first time, because we never went down here before. There is a covenant down here. Right in here. Be careful not to answer wrong, otherwise, uh, yeah, this could go bad. Oh, dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? You can accidentally answer no so easily to that one. For some reason, I've I noticed it like I have to tap left twice. I remember back in the day, I would get here and accidentally press no, and it's like, oh my god, are you serious? So I'm not gonna kill her. If you kill her, you do get another Firekeeper soul, but um. The problem with that is I won't have this bonfire to warp to if I need it just in case because I am doing a playthrough. You never know when something's going to go wrong in a playthrough and I'm over prepared or overly preparing because uh, nothing like broadcasting embarrassment. Yeah, let's make our way to Ceaseless. I'm going to probably just stay up front with Ceaseless and pray that 
things don't go bad. Yeah, there's another warp right here. Or another bonfire. You can't warp to this one. Which is why before I rested the other one and didn't uh, kill anybody. There is a way to just roll off right here. You can. Just like that. You could skip the entire running part. You could even do that without getting hurt. I just forgot what like when the roll time was. Yeah, this area here. I think they uh they rushed some content. So. And this is a funny ass boss to co-op because it's like run, run. <laughs> Especially when the boss fight starts. Man. I never get tired of Dark Souls. I'm sorry. If I nerd out on Dark Souls sometimes, it's because uh, I played this shit too damn much. It's not every day, though, that we uh, that I get a good co-op playthrough going of it, though. Could be a nice challenge thing to do in the future. Redo it with a, a co-op buddy. It's a whole different experience. The game's not really meant to be fully co-oped. But with Dark Souls 1, if you're careful enough, you can. So right here, we're going to top off. And you guys wish me luck. Wish me luck. This could be, uh, this could get ugly. Okay, do your thing. Okay. Now run out of here. This one's typically not worth running back for, but it's a free probably two or three hits, but I'm just going to drag him out over here. Now, please be a good boy. Okay. Get that damage. Please stay. I'm going to come back. Ooh, he went for that one. Ah, I missed. Don't get greedy, kids. Yeah, you might see me cringing a little bit. Not cringing, but, uh... Squeezing my booty hole. <laughs> because, uh... This fight can get really ugly, especially when he starts doing, like, the multiple slams. Yeah. But that's how you do it. He has the one where he'll do, like, a three-hit combo. He has the shooting fire... Um, there's a couple of ta attacks that he can do that's just he has a sweep attack that he can do um, if you take him back to the beginning he has this big ass jump attack that he can do throwing fire everywhere but I got super lucky right there that's pretty well what an ideal fight looks like with ceaseless believe me it can go very wrong very fast okay um, now we'll just go on ahead and run down. I don't really need to spend my souls yet. There's a bonfire not too far away that we'll just go to. But I do warn you, there's, um, some stuff to watch out for. Like, there's a Capra demon down here. There's a bunch of Taurus demons. We won't run over there, though, so we're, we're good. We're good. Look, little roll down right there. Once again, you can do some of these without taking damage. I just... I just forget how, to be honest. As you guys can see way over there, my boy. He's just standing there like... I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. He's gonna come by here. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we can get him. Do a little precast. Oh, he fell into that one, buddy. Oh, he's falling into him. Little precast magic. Um, I'm not going to be abusing magic, by the way. It's like my secondary fire, just using it to be a little careful. I'm not going to, like, pump everything into dark bead. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's, I've done playthroughs of it just to see how stupid it is. I still like the crystal magic better. Night Kirk, my boy. You can come down here and play with us all you want. 
Just not right now. I'm currently trying to kill this thing in the cheapest manner possible. Now you can come down here, wherever he may be. Ah, uh, yeah, because I can't use my damn bonfire. Okay, buddy, where are you at? Word to my homie. Oh, wait, he spawns way back there, don't he? Oh, hello. Oh, God. My aim just went, oh, it's because of the other dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey. This is PvP, homie, not like some sort of, like, back alley drug deal. <laughs> Fucking hell, the guy's like, I'll back you up, homie, I'll back you up. <laughs> He's just going in. Okay, if he comes over here, okay, yeah, you're going to die. It's all your fault. That could have been a smooth fight, but you went and done it. That didn't kill him. This one just comes to life and just starts murdering me. Oh. You know, it. that's some... <laughs> That reminds me of a Dark Souls mod that I played. Have you guys ever played the Dark Souls randomizers? There was one that I streamed about a year or two ago. <laughs> Scary. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's get some. Let's get a little bit of that dexterity. I'm gonna need some physical attack damage. The next boss we're going to go on ahead and go against, I'm going to kindle this bonfire. I might die. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just like a stray demon, but he kind of sucks because of the area that he's in. And usually by now in my playthroughs, I have Sunlight Blade. I don't have Sunlight Blade. That and, you know, I need dexterity for my casting speed, which is good. I'll probably... If it was up to me, I'd get like 50 dexterity, but we're probably not going to get that many souls. Also, I want to show something really dumb. So this, this, uh, Taurus statement. This is what I was thinking of at one point with Gwendolyn. Uh, uh, not Gwendolyn, but the, uh, the one guys that were in Anne Orlando, like the two guys that stand outside that you can fight right after you kill Guinevere. Yeah, I don't know if I showed it in my clip, but <laughs> they killed me. Because I was misunderstanding some shit. I thought it was that doorway where Small and Ornstein's boss fight was that they couldn't go through. They can go through it, and they killed me. They killed me so hard. And there's... There's some stuff down here. There's another item somewhere, I think. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the boss fight. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, boy. You're going to do it, aren't you? You're going to go far, kid. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I seen that coming. Yep. Ooh, he knocked the fuck out of me. <laughs> Luckily, I dodged. I accidentally pressed the wrong button or some shit at one point, and that got scary. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next video. <laughs> Holy crap.